everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we're going to be doing a video talking about why our fig trees form fruit and then the fruits drop off. And there's many reasons for this. And I get this common, this is a very common question that I get throughout the year at different times. Just simply goes like this. My tree has fruit on it. It always fruits every single year, it puts out fruit. And then later in the season, they always all fall off. Why is that? And there are so many reasons for this that I have to just do a video to explain the whole thing because to talk to that person one-on-one -on -one and really find out the details of why this is happening, it just takes a lot of time. So hopefully this video is serving that purpose for that particular person asking me this question. The most common reason that this happens is that your fig tree is either a male, number one, or it needs pollination of some sort. And the majority of the trees that you guys get from friends, um, if you get them from a nursery, they're going to be something called common. And what is a common fig? A common fig is just a simple term to say, this fig does not need pollination. They're really well commonly found as well. Um, and unless you plant your fig tree from seed, you most of the time will not have to worry about this. But if you do plant your fig tree from seed, you're really increasing your chances of not getting a fig that doesn't need pollination. In fact, it's very low at that point. If you get a fig tree from a friend in California as well, through cuttings, and you plant that tree in your property and you don't live in California, there's also a chance that you are gonna need, are gonna have a tree that does need pollination because California is very special in that it's quite warm there and they have colonized a specific species of wasp that is specific to the fig tree. So without this specific wasp, you're not gonna be able to pollinate a whole lot of figs. You're gonna lose that genetic diversity in figs as well. However, you need to pay attention to how your fig tree was planted. Was it planted from seed? Was it planted from cutting? Where did it come from? And additionally, figure out what kind of tree yours is. There's four different types of figs. One is the common fig, which does not require pollination. Two is the San Pedro type, which on the Breba, which is the first crop, does not require pollination. But the second crop, the main crop, does require pollination from the Blastophaga, that specific species of wasp that only pollinates figs. The third type is the Smyrna type, which does not produce a Breba, but it does produce a main crop, and that main crop requires pollination. The fourth type is the capra fig, which is the male fig. So if you are planting your figs from seed, it's very likely that you have something other than a female fig, and that is usually what's happening with your figs. In fact, I have capra figs specifically planted in the greenhouse to then try to colonize the blastophaga here in Pennsylvania. We have them actually grafted onto capra figs or onto a rootstock to then colonize the blastophaga here. So fig pollination is very intricate. It's very interesting. There's a lot to it. And if you're not propagating your figs correctly, getting them from the right source, you could potentially have a tree that drops figs every year. Let me give you some other reasons here. Um, one is a lack of water. And if we don't water our trees enough, they really need a lot of water when they're setting their fruit. They also need a lot of water when they're ripening the fruits. So it's really important that you make sure that these figs have enough water throughout the season. What I like to recommend is have enough water to keep your trees happy and healthy. Anything in excess will actually ruin the fruit quality. However, you may actually not water them enough and you're gonna get figs that come off very easily, will start to fall off on their own. And this is a very good sign of not enough water. It could also be a potential sign of too much water. Same thing with your leaves is that if we get leaf drop, that could be a sign of not enough water or too much water. So usually with most varieties, I find that the leaves will drop first before the figs. And that sounds a bit contradictory, but I have a, quite a few varieties that have been dropping leaves before they started dropping figs. 
Another reason why they could be dropping figs, let me take you guys over to this tree over here. This is called my Pastiliere. Pastiliere is a variety that puts out fruit every year. It's very early, quite precocious, but it just has a whole problem with maturing and holding on to these figs. For whatever reason, some of these trees could be partly self-fertile and partly not. So it's really important to kind of realize that could be also a distinction in that some varieties take a while to mature and you may just have to wait. Usually by year three, in that third year, if they're not putting out fruit and it's not holding on to that fruit, there's some sort of issue. So for me, I'm a little bit less patient because of the amount of varieties that I have. Um, but you know, inevitably, if you guys have a large tree that's been in the ground for about three or more years and it hasn't kept onto its fruit, you may wanna consider grafting onto it or planting something else in that location. Another reason why I think these fig trees are dropping, and I don't have scientific proof, but it certainly seems likely to me is that when we pinch and we have brabas on our tree, as an example, let's say there were some brabas down here, um, a lot of that energy that we took away from the top, it now directs that energy when we pinch into other portions of the tree. And it will put our energy into these newly formed figs. And I think a lot of that sap flow will then get disregarded by the brabas below. And the brabas will actually drop. And I've seen this happen not only with the brabas, but I've also seen this with the main crop as well. Let me show you guys another example here. This is my St. Martin tree, who's gotten a really nice head start in the greenhouse. We just put this one in the ground in the spring. And you can see that, well, other than this tip right here, we had pinched it and it formed these new fruits. The second main crop up in here, we had a nice main crop forming along these branches here, these nodes here. And it was loaded and I was really loving it. It looked great. The issue though, was that when we pinched these trees up in here, or these branches up here, I think that energy then was directed away from these fruits down below and was then sent into form, uh, forming new figs up higher. Now, it could be that this particular tree requires pollination. However, I think that's very unlikely as I believe somebody has indeed fruited this outside of the Blastophaga range here in Pennsylvania or in the United States. So um, I think that's less likely and I think that's certainly what's occurring. I've seen it in a number of varieties. Here's another good example down in here is that we have a, a newly rooted fig cutting down here, but it's formed some really nice fruits and there was a fruit right here. We pinched off the tip. It's now forming a second main crop and the main crop below it is now losing energy. A lot of that sap flow is being directed in other locations and I think that is just simply what's going on is that if we pinch too soon, we get ourselves a second main crop here. In fact, I wanna take that tip off and get myself more fruits, but uh, that's just what's gonna happen is that it will abort the Brava or abort that first main crop if it's indeed a second main crop. So something worth paying attention to, something worth mentioning. The last point here that I think could also be a potential reason is just a change in environment. If we have a really swift change in environment, it seems like these leaves and also the figs start to really uh, get stressed out. And if the tree gets stressed out, it may actually just abort the fig um, in any way. So if we have a, a stressed out tree through a change in humidity, as an example, if we have really high humidity one day, the next day it's 90 degrees outside and super dry, these leaves are gonna start to droop a bit, the figs are gonna start to be a bit softer, and they're gonna fall off. So it's really important to obviously have a stable environment, but really keep your trees stress-free. So I think uh, all these points are really important to make and not easily conveyed to somebody through text. So I really hope that a lot of you guys enjoyed this video, found this useful, and hopefully this will give you the reason why your fig tree is indeed dropping fruits. I have quite a few number of varieties that I believe to be Smyrna's, believe to be either San Pedro's or Smyrna's that need pollination, or 
we're just having a big issue with the change in environment here and that some of these figs are just not doing so well on the tree. You can see that obviously there's some other ones up here. The soil is certainly wet, I've checked that. So I think the change in humidity here has certainly had some sort of effect on this, but worst comes to worst, water your trees in well. You know, I think that's uh, a big tip there. You know, make sure your trees are watered. I like to keep them a bit on the drier side to get a, um, a better fruit quality, but I certainly think there probably is something going on here with me just not having enough water at the soil level. So anyway, guys, that was the video. If you found this one helpful, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also, if you know somebody interested in growing figs, tell them about the channel. Share this channel with them. I'd greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all soon. Catch you all for tomorrow's video. Take care, everybody.